Hey y'all, it's Brittany. Welcome back to Hearts in a Plan. In today's video, I'm going to be planning for the week of June 29th through July 5th. So I wanted to do my Instagram followers choose my spread. So I did that. So I asked you guys, first question, whether you wanted me to do a bullet journaling spread or just keep it classic. Voted for bullet journaling spread. I think you guys like those more than the traditional spreads and I enjoy them as well. They just take a little bit longer, but I do feel like they're more creative. They just take a long time. I got my dot grit paper from the Happy Planner and I need some more because I feel like I'm gonna be kind of sticking with the, the bullet journaling spreads because I just, just like them. Um, so yeah, I have some dot grit paper here. You guys voted for a summertime theme, summer vibes. It was either summer vibes or glam life and you guys wanted summer vibes and that's what we're gonna do. I've already pulled some stickers here but I feel like some things are gonna change before I like commit to them. And I pulled from several sticker books and I'll talk about that later. But before we get to any decorative stuff, I want to go ahead and get my layout down. You guys voted for um, a vertical spread, so I'm gonna do that. Um, and I think last week, let's look at last week, cause last week turned out so, so good. I loved it so much. This is what it looks like after the pen, and I'm gonna post that um, on my Instagram. It just looks so good. This is technically not vertical. I mean, I don't think it's really horizontal or vertical. It's just kinda, it's just really practical, and I love how this turned out, so. We're gonna continue with the Bujo vibes. I did a little sketch just to kind of get an idea of what I wanted this layout to be like. So I have Monday through Wednesday on this side and then Thursday through Sunday on this side. So we shall see. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw my rectangles. I still don't have a ruler. I need to go to the store and get one. So I'm gonna use what I have. I'm gonna use this uh, like snap cover for mini and just use that as a as a ruler So I have my stuff outlined. They look super hand-drawn and wobbly, as you guys can see. But we'll see what it turns out like. Um, let's see. So I am in the Agenda 52 calendar book and I'm on the days of the week. So I feel like this might tie stuff in better. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these here. It's kind of a coral color. So I think once you have, I mean, my boxes aren't perfect and stuff, but once you start adding stickers and stuff that are like the same shape and everything, it kind of anchors it and makes it more stable looking, not so shaky. 
All right, so I did show you they had a dates page, so I'm gonna use that. So today is the 29th. This is a good book. I've never, I haven't used it yet. The 30th. Then the first. I bought a treadmill last week on Amazon and it arrives on Wednesday. So I need to find like a, if I can find a sticker that's related to that. This whole time, I probably need to buy a backup of that book. For real. All right, we got that out the way. So now we need to uh, decide like the June slash July thing in the middle all right, so I think I'm gonna use this flower here that I got from, let me see. I think I got it from the Vicky book that I just showed, that I just showed you guys. I got stuff everywhere. I think it was in here. Yeah, it was in here. So this is from American Crafts. And this is the Vicky Bhutan. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but yeah, that's what sticker book I got that from. So I'm gonna put that here so we can start summerfying this thing. And I'm deciding between which one I wanna use. This one is clear though. I probably should use this one because it's paper. So let me see. June. This is from or a moose and J paper. That's what this is from. I'm gonna try the Maggie Holmes one. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Okay, see, she has these pluses here. And I think that could be cool. So it's like June and July. So, and it's different, it's, it's different. So I'm gonna move the July down just a bit. That looks cool to me, it's different. Boom. Um, the stuff that you see at the bottom, her, and then all of this kind of poolside stuff is from the girls sticker book from Agenda 52. All right, y'all, I'm back. And I took a lot of stuff off the spread because I wasn't feeling it. Yeah, I, it was just not looking like clean enough for me. So I got some of my uh, decorative scrapbook paper and I made some rectangles. And these are gonna go behind um, where, I will, where I'm gonna be writing and stuff. So I thought this blue was good because it kind of looks like water. And I think I might use this, this lighter blue uh, scrapbook paper because it kind of looks like water too. So I might, my tape runner might be better. Let's check it out. This is from Recollections. So a lot of people are gonna be starting their new planners on Wednesday. Tell me down below, are you starting a new planner or are you gonna rock with your 12 month 2020 planner for the rest of the year? 
for me, I think I'm just gonna rock with what I have because I don't really feel a need to change because this one's been working for me. And I know if I get a second planner, I won't use it on a consistent basis. My catch-all is just exactly what I need for pretty much everything, so. Not mad at that, so I'm gonna cut out more of those and glue those on. So I have my Copic marker here, and this is in the color Toast E34. I don't know if that's gonna focus. It's gonna focus or not. Yeah, so I decided to just draw like a little background behind the stickers um, because I wanted some sand, and then I'll put the beach chair and everything behind her on top of the sand after I put the marker down. So let's do that. You can use whatever marker you want, but I have a ton of these. So I'm gonna make her some sand. I'm just gonna put some dots in there to give it some texture. So, sit her there. Sit her beach bag right beside her. And the beach chair right here. I don't know if the butterflies in make sense. I can do whatever I want, but yeah, no. And it gives the the spread some some area to breathe, so we'll see. And what do we want to do here? I can make this water if I want to. Like a pool. Yeah, I can put a beach ball in here. Yeah. Let's do that. So I'm going to pull this up while I do that. Just put it like that. Let me go get some some blues. I have ooh, I have these colors here. I have aqua mint, ice mint, and robin's egg blue. Let me test those out. Okay. I kind of like that one a lot. That is ice mint. 
that's pretty too. All of them work, so I can. I'm gonna start off with the ice mint because I like that one the most. I'm not gonna fill it in all the way because you know how you have highlights on water. I'm just gonna kinda keep it like that and see how I like it. I could always put white out on it too if I wanted stronger highlights in the water. But This is pretty easy to do too. You don't have to have too much crazy artistic talent to color in water. It's not that hard. All right. I saw some beach balls in here, so I'm gonna look for that. Okay, so on that same page in this sticker book, like that, the beach day kind of page, where is it? Yeah, so it had another lady on there. I wanted to put her in one of the floats, so I just cut off her legs and kind of curved the bottom so she'll fit in the float. Now, she won't have like her legs showing down here, but I mean, it's fine. So, what other details? Almost done. Um, I'm in this sticker book from American Crafts again. And this page has a lot of like things to do. And I usually put like what I have to do for the week down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, we have some bullet stickers here that I'm gonna put on there. All right guys, so here is the final look of my spread for June 29th through July 5th. You guys helped me come up with this spread and I think it turned out really cute. It definitely gives summer vibes. It has more of a beach thing, but you know, beach, summer, it's all the same. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for coming to the premiere. Those who did come, um, drop me a comment down below. Tell me what you think about this spread and drop some ideas down below of future, of future things that I can do with my bullet journaling spreads because I feel like I get more excited when I do those. So, and I think you guys like those too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed, turn on your notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.